Once again, hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of Bonita Webinars. My name is Nicola. I'm part of the marketing team based here in North America. Um, through these webinar series, we try to give you more insight into facilitating the adoption of the Bonita platform and um, how to identify and apply innovative approaches. Uh, the versatility of uh, the Bonita usage is very widespread. And as you may know, you can find us in the cloud in adaptive case management in collaboration with RPA, or Robotic Process Automation, and other technologies. Um, fear not if you missed some of these previous webinars. They're all posted on our website and YouTube channel. Um, Bonita can help you create seamless applications on top of processes that you already have or may have in the near future. And as a digital transformation platform, we are BPM-based and use BPMN, BPMN notation, to build what we call the living application. Um, our platform is highly extensible and highly customizable, but it's also low code, again, different from no code, um, therefore not geared to citizen developers. Uh, today's webinar's title is Join the Living Application Ecosystem, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, display and explain our partner network and showcase some of the successful partner uh, projects that our partners have worked on together with us. Your hosts are Hari Subashic, Benita uh, Soft Pre-Sales Director, and Alexandra Wagner, Channel Manager. We do invite you to actually take part by submitting any questions that you may have uh, throughout the whole presentation. You can do so at the bottom right corner of your GoToWebinar dashboard. And our webinar hosts will try to answer as many questions as possible. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to Harris and Alexandra. Please enjoy the webinar. Hello, everybody. I hope you are doing well. So I'm here with uh, Harris as Nicola just mentioned. And um, maybe I'm going to start uh, with presenting Bonita in a few words for those who don't know us, and sorry, for those who do know us. So Bonita, this is a process-based application development platform. Um, Bonita Soft is the largest provider of open source business process management, low code, and digital transformation software worldwide. So what do we do? We help companies around the world to deliver better digital user experience to our customer and to their employees. So why? Um, because Bonita Soft is today the only open source vendor of intelligent BPMS solutions, and we offer a complete set of Java and REST API to assure, guarantee a wide interactivity with external applications. As a result, Bonita enables development teams to easily connect customized user interfaces to reliable back-office operation to create fully customized user experience. Today, we have more than 1,000 customers worldwide uh, in each industry. So you can see a few of them uh, on the slide. And we are recognized by many analysts like MWD, like Aragon, and also Gartner, who selected us last year uh, in uh, its magic quadrant. Gartner uh, selected Bonita for many reasons. Three of them are because uh, Bonita is really, uh, has a really ease of use and a quick adoption. Um, we can build connection with the information system and we have a native ability to work with um, our partners and uh, partners in the world. In the next slide, uh, I'm going to show you uh, some projects uh, we are addressing. So we address and we answer to two types of projects. So we answer projects to improve uh, performance and optimize uh, processes. So we are going to, by the way, save the time, improve quality, and comply uh, with the compliance. Global digital transformation project, uh, also with a strong focus on innovation, value creation, and improving the user experience to develop new customer services and products. So, for example, 
on the back side, uh, on the back office side, uh, we are going to focus on operational performance for employees. So we contributed and we still contribute to the improvement of procurement, uh, purchasing and supplier management for Saint-Gobain Group, for example. Uh, we manage loan, mortgages and investment management for uh, big bank, BBVA. Uh, Bristol Myers in the US trust us uh, to manage drug discovery, development and clinical trials. And on the front office topics for customer around digital transformation, uh, we are going to um, manage some topics like new products and services offering. So we did that for many insurance, for example, Alpice Insurance. Uh, we are going to uh, manage services for e-citizen and e-government. Uh, with a big um, account in Switzerland, Canton de Vaux. Uh, we are going to enable energy savings, uh, curtailment and forecasting for Enonoc, a big company um, in energy in the, in the United States. Um, the two other slides are going to show you some uh, use cases uh, we put in place with uh, our partners. So I really wanted to highlight how our partners are important um, and uh, how they do involve in Bonitasoft projects. So the first um, account um, is a global asset manager and uh, due to a recent uptrend in growth and uh, ever increasing regulatory uh, requirements, the, this financial company needed to streamline their current process of account onboarding. So in fact, they were looking to lower error rates, improve scalability, and also ensure transparency. So thanks to our partner Synotech, the company put in place a local platform using Bonita and now, uh, this financial uh, company has the orchestration and transparency needed to monitor more than a uh, hundred of new accounts. Everything is managed and monitored from the dashboard, uh, and this dashboard accommodates both users and management. This company's associates are now freed up to focus on even more complicated scenarios and they continue to improve customer satisfaction. If you want to read uh, this uh, paper, uh, this paper is available uh, into our website under uh, financial uh, industry. The next case I wanted to speak about um, focuses on an Australian university, which is a University of Queensland. So the University of Queensland uh, were in the progress of digital transformation and they wanted to provide a world-class student experience supported by internal business process automation. They wanted also to digitize and automate internal processes uh, that were going to support the student journey and they wanted to leverage their existing legacy system. So thanks to our partner Intelligent Pathway, our business process automation, well, sorry, their business process automation have dramatically improved user experience for students, staff at University of Queensland. Students can now, and this is great, submit and track requests in real time from their web or mobile device. And the time taken for staff to process requests has been greatly reduced. University of Queensland is also benefiting from cost efficiencies due to improved data accuracy and timeliness, a reduction in integration development effort, and paper minimization. Today, the University of Queensland uh, put in place with Bonita uh, more than 50 processes and there are many more to come. Once again, if you want to read um, the papers, the customer stories about University of Queensland, 
you will get it um, into our website um, on education uh, industry. So as agreed in the second part, uh, I will talk to, you, talk to you a little bit more about what the Bonita platform is. So in the, in the introduction, we'll go through several slides that will allow us to understand better what are the main parts of the solution, how they work together. We'll have an overview of the architecture of the solution so that you can also see how it connects to the legacy systems and how it works together from the technical point of view. We'll talk then about uh, different add-ons that our solution proposes. And also in the uh, introduction part, we'll talk about uh, interesting uh, use cases such as adaptive case management or the integration with the RPA. Then in the second part, we're going to have a hands-on presentation of how to build a small process inside of Bonita Studio, how, how to create an application, and what really a living application is from the point of view of the end user. We'll finish by seeing also how uh, intelligent art, uh, sorry, how uh, artificial intelligence can help us uh, increase the efficiency of those living applications. So let's go on. Abanita, as we said, is really a, a platform that allows to build uh, enterprise-grade applications by connecting user interfaces with business processes in the backend to create better user experiences. As such, it is a development platform. It will allow to have collaborative approach. It proposes a possibility to connect to technologies like Git or SVN in order to have different team members, analysts, and also developers work together efficiently. efficiently. Uh, we uh, rely on the BPMN as the standard that guarantees uh, how to clearly describe but also easily evolve the business logic over time. So the logic is not in the, on the application layer, it is really on the backend where the Bonita BPM engine allows to uh, follow the business rules that we define. We will have a capacity to create visually, uh, but also a capacity to make extensions to user interfaces. And uh, as such, the Bonita platform uh, can be used in an iterative approach. So it's really complementary with agile development. And uh, it can be used to deliver uh, and deploy applications, whether you use Bonita on-premise or in the cloud. And this allows us to have experimentation uh, approach where you can gradually have new versions deployed uh, let your end users test them and work on the continuous improvement through different versions. Bonita uh, does uh, provide uh, a very uh, rich set of features by default. So these features are designed to meet the needs, the needs of most of your projects. However, if a project has a need that was not anticipated and cannot be met by the default features, but in a platform also uh, allows us to create extensions. For example, if we talk about the business logic at the process layer, uh, one of the main things to use is to use connectors in order to interface with external systems. But it comes with more than 80 standard connectors to the major information system components like major databases such as Oracle, MySQL Server, PostgreSQL, and so on. Then also SOAP web services, systems like Salesforce, etc. Uh, a new provide new connectivity capability for your processes, so you can implement new connectors directly from the Bonita Studio or as a separate Maven project using your favorite uh, ID, your favorite development tool. So this is how actually you can make extensions at this layer and enrich Bonita as a platform. Newly created connectors become integral part of the solution and you can also reuse them across different projects. So this is also what can become uh, interesting as an area of expertise for our partners as having uh, experience integrating with certain systems that can be then uh, replicated across different projects and across different uh, customers. And then if we talk about the data layer, we provide, for example, a rich set of uh, out-of-the-box REST APIs that allow to fetch the data 
from the user interfaces. Uh, then the pages and the forms that are created uh, with uh, the UI designer, Bonita UI designer, uh, rely on this uh, REST API to, to manage the data. Uh, in addition to the standard APIs and resources, you can also define what we call REST API extensions. And Bonita Studio contains tooling to create, test, and deploy these REST API extensions. And this way, you can make sure to easily query your data and simplify the user interface creation. So you create the resources that you need with the methods that you will invoke from your uh, UIs. And then if we talk about, for example, the uh, uh, front-end uh, layer about the user interfaces, if the standard UI designer widgets do not meet your needs, you can also create custom widgets. And then you can use your custom widgets in pages, forms, or, uh, or fragments. Uh, last but not the least, uh, these extensions, as I said, become integral part of the entire platform and you can reuse them across uh, across different projects. Just to mention uh, also that our open source community is also a great place to start looking for more extensions and this is also what brings uh, an interesting dynamic to the exchange around the Bonita platform. So how, how all of this uh, work together, here's uh, an overall uh, image of uh, the Bonita platform or architecture with different parts of the solution. So we can say that the Bonita platform is a set of components and toolings that develop, uh, that help develop, test and execute process-based applications. We call these applications leading applications. A leading application is composed of many components or what we call artifacts. The main ones would be the user interfaces, the business data, and the processes for the business logic. But it also contains customization such as connectors, connectors to external systems, user access rights, and so on. All of these components are developed in the Bonita Studio that we can see here on the, on the image on the left-hand side. The Bonita Studio is used by the development team, but also by citizen developers in order to create, develop, and compose living application artifacts. As we said, the user interfaces, processes, etc. These Compose uh, living applications uh, can then be deployed at the Bonita runtime. The Bonita runtime is the ex execution environment for living applications. Uh, Bonita runtime provides the VPM engine that allows to execute processes that you initially uh, design. It also provides services, different services such as data persistence service, such as user authentication service and so on and a set of APIs uh, and all of uh, requirements for living application execution. Uh, this runtime relies on database uh, vendors to store both on one hand, uh, on one side the process execution and historical data. So this would be the data generated by the BPMN definition such as tasks of your process, who did what, at what time, and so on. And on the other side, the second schema that's uh, uh, reserved for what we call the business data. And this would be the objects and the data that you put in place, such as, for example, a loan request. Uh, on top of this uh, platform, uh, we also provide a couple of add-ons uh, to illustrate uh, how they work. Uh, we can take an example of a Bonita platform usage. So let's say we have one production environment and two non-production environments for development and test, and also multiple Bonita studios to uh, develop process-based applications. So we can use the first add-on that's called Bonita Continuous Delivery, and it provides, provides first of all, a solution to provision and de deploy the runtime part together with the storage part, and uh, it's uh, of a great help, uh, especially if you want to work uh, in the cloud environments where you can have a new Bonita runtime provision in less than a minute. But it's also compatible with the uh, on-premises installations of the Bonita runtime. Secondly, uh, this uh, add-on would also support the continuous delivery uh, that allows to build, deploy, and test living applications across these different environments. In our example, we said having development, test, and production environment. Uh, it is based on, as you can quickly see on the, uh, on the image here, 
on uh, technology like Ansible that helps, helps coordinate different scripts. We use Jenkins uh, that uh, would coordinate different uh, pipelines in order to make builds, deployments, and configuration. And uh, in order to provision Bonita environments, we also provide a Docker uh, container of the Bonita runtime. And uh, you can use this uh, container if you want to have uh, such an approach in order to create new Bonita runtimes across different environments. On the other hand, uh, on the right-hand side of our slide, we'll talk about the uh, second add-on that's called Bonita Intelligent Continuous Improvement. And it actually plugs, plugs the backend on an existing Bonita runtime uh, environment and provides a set of operational applications for both developers and uh, business users. It can be uh, plugged uh, into any existing Bonita runtime to immediately actually detect patterns on historical process execution and make predictions that apply to ongoing processes. As an example, uh, what we will see also in the demo, if we talk about a loan request in a, in a bank, it can help us predict delays in processing loans based on a specific business goal. For example, we can specify that we need to, as a bank, we want to complete end-to-end -end loan management within two days. This is an SLA on which we want to engage in front of our customers. This model could help us actually anticipate and make predictions in that sense. Uh, this add-on is installed on a dedicated application server and it needs a connection to the process database of, database of Bonita to pull in an incremental manner the data uh, from the database, store it in a NoSQL storage. Uh, we currently use uh, Elasticsearch uh, stack, and then it would use this process data to compute the business goal, thanks to the process mining extension techniques and artificial intelligence methods, and it would provide goal-oriented predictions on process uh, execution. Uh, as you can see, the idea of the module, besides being able to provide predictions on the case uh, durations and delays is also to become an enhancement of the human intelligence uh, that's applied on the business processing uh, because at, uh, at the long term it could also provide recommendations on improvement actions and then help business administrators, uh, people that uh, operate uh, businesses to make actions such as uh, for example, reallocate tasks to different other users, make changes in the forms, update processes, and so on. So this is uh, how, how artificial intelligence can help uh, the uh, business-based, uh, uh, business process-based platform become uh, more uh, efficient. Then let's uh, make a quick focus also on another aspect of the usage of uh, a Bonita uh, as a platform. So far we talked, uh, we spoke especially about uh, building applications based on business processes. Uh, saying business process uh, is very often understood as a set of structured tasks, structured actions. Uh, it's also possible with Bonita to put in place unstructured uh, processes uh, that not necessarily have uh, in advance predefined uh, transitions and so on. So we can actually have uh, adaptive business processes that would provide us the freedom to work on case management uh, approach where not all the tasks are defined in advance. So this means that besides the tasks that we know that will happen throughout the case execution, we could also provide a capacity to have ad hoc tasks, to have process fragments that can be actually initiated at any moment under certain condition, conditions by different knowledge uh, workers. They could also allow to have uh, external systems or external events make uh, happen uh, certain uh, tasks or make them uh, available to uh, knowledge workers. So this is how actually Bonita brings together the best of the traditional BPM uh, business process approach together or combined with the flexibility of adaptive case management approach, approach and this is uh, all uh, possible thanks to the leading application uh, approach because we provide a clear separation between 
the uh, backend business logic and the user interfaces that can uh, rely on the on this backend in order to uh, provide different actions and information to to the end users. And then uh, another interesting aspect of the usage of a platform like Bonita is in conjunction with RPA or robotic process automation. Uh, we have uh, we have worked recently together with the leader in that market, which is UiPath, uh, in order to create a technological partnership that would allow our customers use Bonita and UiPath together in order to offer a complete solution for end-to-end -end process automation. On one hand side, the BPM approach allows to, as we said, create applications that connect user interfaces with the business processes for the better user experience. And typically, we talk about customer-facing processes and applications. As we said, it allows the support for both structured and uh, unstructured process execution. Uh, process, business processes such allows to coordinate better the work between different people, systems, processes. It also allows to make the integration with uh, existing systems using APIs. And uh, as a result, it allows to create end-to-end -end customer experiences connecting these uh, different elements. On the other side, when we talk about the RPA, or robotic process automation, we'll very often talk about the possibility to automate repetitive rule-based rule tasks that are typically performed by the people. However, uh, we would utilize the user interfaces to manipulate data and applications such as a human would. So we talk about a virtual assistant or a robot that takes over the execution of certain human tasks. And uh, it's very, uh, very often used, especially in the context of high, high volume repeatable tasks within existing processes where the robots would really uh, imitate how the person would execute their tasks and thus uh, save time for the end users. Uh, there's a great opportunity uh, to use these two technologies and approaches together. Uh, and uh, this is just a quick overview of how uh, these two technologies would uh, might, uh, might work together. So as you can see from, from this uh, summary, uh, BPM and RPA are really complementary. Uh, for those that uh, already uh, use RPA as an approach, business processes can actually help, for example, delegate specific RPA activities to have an increased efficiency. Uh, for uh, it could also, for those that already use BPM, the RPA approach could help automate BPM specific actions because they are related to certain business application level, such as human judgment, uh, response to user interfaces, and so on. So integrating BPM-based and RPA-based application development platforms uh, really delivers a tenfold solution to performance uh, where we would have a complete sol solution to manage and end-to-end uh, -end, uh, digital transformation that can really leverage uh, digital automation, enterprise management uh, exception, and also complex decision-making make, uh, by a human uh, a uh, human actor where appropriate because the robot cannot take over such a responsibility uh, if uh, the context is not very clearly defined. Just before we move on to the quick uh, demo of the solution, uh, just to mention that uh, as we just spoke, uh, talking about the complementarity with RPA technology and our technological partnership with the UiPath company, uh, Bonita uh, Soft as a company also as the software editor tends to uh, create technology, technological partnerships with different other software or technology uh, providers in order to make it more easy to use Bonita as a platform in different contexts. So as such, we have partnership with AWS. Uh, we are certified to be uh, easily deployed on their uh, premises, so it helps our customers more easily uh, adapt Bonita and use it in the cloud. Uh, we have a partnership with, uh, with a company named CloudBees that help us get the best out of the Jenkins that we use in our BCD module, uh, BCD add-on for the continuous delivery and uh, continuous integration approach. 
We also have a partnership with DocuSign, the provider of electronic signature that we don't have as a part of the Bonita. So this helps our, our clients, uh, companies using Bonita uh, that have a need to make a digital signature, electronic signature at a certain point of their process, combine the two uh, more easily. And also in, a, in another uh, aspect, which would be a master data management, we have a partnership with a talent software provider that use Bonita as a core solution uh, for the workflow management inside of their MDM uh, module. From here, we can dive into the demo. Uh, just to quickly uh, explain you the uh, use case and the story that we'll talk about before uh, we move, uh, move on to see it, uh, we'll talk actually about uh, an imaginary uh, Acme Bank. Of course, uh, part of this is uh, uh, it's, uh, is, is inspired by our uh, customers and uh, real customer stories. Uh, and the use cases that we have, uh, Walter Bates, who is uh, Acme Bank uh, customer advisor, that's in charge of uh, reviewing paper loan applications. Uh, we talk about a bank that still does not have uh, digital transformation in place, still uses paper uh, loan applications, and uh, as such, they want to put in place a solution that will, of course, increase their efficiency, increase the benefits, and they dedicated, uh, they, they made the commitment to their clients that they uh, want to put in place very aggressive SLA, uh, have a response to, the, to each loan request within two days. So we can see how actually Bonita was able to answer to such uh, such a need. Here is the Bonita Studio uh, in action that allows us to implement uh, different uh, parts of a living application. So we'll just make a very quick uh, overview before uh, before we see uh, the end result. On one hand side, we do have what is the business process. Uh, as we spoke in the introduction, uh, this part is done using the BPMN notation, the standard that defines how graphically we can express and uh, design every business process. It is composed of different steps, transitions with different conditions, logical gateways, and it explains actually how from uh, a customer who requests a loan, we go through different steps, such as loan scoring, in case that the loan scoring was not at the satisfactory level, we would notify the customer about the negative decision and the process actually stops because the request gets refused. The other option is that, of course, everything is okay, in which case we would ask the customer to complete the application with extra documents and extra explanations. And from there, we have another actor, which is the customer counselor that takes over the responsibility and uh, uh, it moves on with the validation uh, of, of the request. Then again, we can have different options, and in case of a uh, uh, request that, uh, that's uh, validated, we would uh, move on to write the loan contract together with duration, loan rate, and all the different elements. Here we can have a signature of the contract communicated digitally online to our customer, we can engage a solution like DocuSign in order to have a digital signature as well. And once the signature is done, we will get back to the bank to validate that. Uh, you can notice also how BPMN allows us to have uh, what, what is called timers or different events, events such as, uh, in this case, a reminder that allows us to, once we create a task for our customer, to make sure that he or she would sign the contract within the um, provided, uh, provided time. So we can use also our process to notify the customer about the offer accuracy and make sure that the delays are respected. And uh, our main process would stop here. So you can see here at the process level how BPMN and thus Bonita using it allows us to describe how we want to handle our business, in this case, a typical loan request in a bank, but also helps us make sure that once we implement that, we know who does which action, in which order, 
with which delays, uh, with which responsibilities, and so on. So this is where BPMN helps us uh, put in place and create uh, powerful business logic. From there, the second aspect would be also to work on what we call the business data model, which is defined what is the data that we want to use in our process. This is where we use yet another graphical tool. Hence, uh, we spoke about Bonita being a low-code platform. You can see here that so far uh, we didn't use uh, any, uh, any coding effort uh, at all. So we can define different business objects. Here we have a loan. Uh, that contains different attributes, different elements. And uh, once we have this structure, we'll just define that in our process, we want to use this as the main object. Bonita would then take care that throughout the process execution, each time there's a new request, the data gets persisted in a dedicated database, and that we follow the predefined path of how to do uh, different, uh, different actions. Then the third uh, important aspect of a process implementation would be uh, connectivity with uh, existing or external systems. Uh, so if we take uh, take the task of uh, any uh, uh, necessity to make a connection with an external system, uh, such as a notification by email and so on, we will be able to uh, use a connector. And uh, as we said in the uh, in the introduction, we provide uh, a very big uh, palette of different connectors for different systems uh, out of the box. So we'll just have a very quick uh, sneak peek into a list of uh, different connectors. And from there, uh, you can see, for example, in terms of uh, databases, that we will have different database vendors. We have solutions such as uh, SAP uh, and so on, as well as standard connectors for standard interfaces such as SOAP or REST uh, REST. But we can also create custom connectors such as uh, get loan scoring connector that we introduced for this demo that helps us gather the information from the process execution context and make us calculate the uh, scoring for our customer and for the specific loan request as we need it. So this is yet uh, yet again uh, how uh, extensibility of the Bonilla pl platform becomes important for implementing specific applications. And from there, uh, there is the last part uh, to uh, put in place as well, which would be uh, the user interfaces. So we will provide inside of the Bonilla Studio what is called a UI designer, user interface designer of Bonita, which once again uh, works with a graphical editor. So in the middle we have the screen, the form as it would be uh, proposed to our end user. You have different elements that you can drag and drop onto your whiteboard. You configure that to work together with, with the backend, with the process part, and you can uh, have a quick preview to see how uh, everything would work uh, what it would look like uh, once you uh, present it to the uh, to the end user. Of course, everything is responsive, so we can also have uh, all of our pages that we put in place automatically adapt to different types of devices and screen sizes. And once we have all of these elements together, the process as a business logic, the data, the connectivity, and user interfaces together, we will just simply put in place a definition of a new application that will be composed of uh, different pages that we put in place that would be uh, provide, uh, proposed or made uh, available for a certain profile. In this case, we configure to have different types of users. And uh, from there, we will just need one single uh, click that allows us to take this living application description, deploy different, what we spoke, uh, what we called in the introduction, different artifacts, such as profiles, pages, processes, and so on. And you have a uh, first running uh, version of the application based on your process. Of course, for the moment, we still didn't execute our processes, so we don't have data to, uh, 
to consult. So to bypass that, I propose to move on to uh, another platform where we already have uh, certain data defined. And I can just quickly show you the idea of the different aspects of living applications. So we could have possibility to create views for, in this case, for a dedicated profile that would be bank advisor that has an overview of all pending or closed requests. He can get all the details of each request, move on to do the action that's related to that. And we can also have uh, a dedicated uh, another application that's uh, created and exposed to the customer of the bank, so to the end user on the other side of the line. And uh, here's just uh, an idea of how uh, this could be uh, introduced uh, and embedded into a customer-facing application constructed and built with Bonita. So as you can see, the end result is an appealing uh, web application that you can easily uh, integrate into your own uh, portals, applications, or provide as such. And the idea is that in such a living application, we have a good overview depending on the type of the profile and the type of the action each user needs to do in a given process. We have a very good overview of all the data, different actions, and so on, based on uh, what we need to do. So the idea of a living application is really to have a good overview of uh, different uh, different actions. And I'll just to conclude uh, quickly illustrate the conjunction with uh, our artificial intelligence. So we'll can, we can just quickly have a look at uh, how. Uh, our intelligence, intelligent continuous uh, improvement uh, add-on helps uh, operations team in a bank uh, have a better overview and, of course, monitoring of all the activities. So here's an example. Uh, as we said in the uh, introduction, for our loan request process, we define target duration, which is two, two days. And based on that, it's the, the, mo the module uses process mining to analyze the history data of the execution. So it can take several years of uh, the history, uh, make the process mining, and for, at this moment, 624 loan requests that are ongoing, make an, an analysis and provide us dashboards and follow up, uh, telling us that uh, we have a certain number of requests that are, that are running well and on time. And uh, for all of them that are in green, as you can see here, we have a very high chance that they will uh, end up on time as requested, uh, based on the remaining time to res respect the deadline, and also based on the step where we are currently and the context of the execution. This should be on time. For the others, uh, we have two other categories. This can be configured as well. Uh, those that are predicted to be late, as we are starting to uh, not ad advance very well based on the remaining time. And the third category, uh, which are those that are already late, for which we uh, moved way beyond the anticipated deadline. And uh, this is uh, what's really uh, in red means uh, we should uh, take either uh, corrective actions to bring them back on track or uh, see how to actually correct those that for which we still have time to uh, to cover and uh, make an action. So from there, for example, we could take a specific uh, case, get the details of the information, see the history of the execution of the timeline, and make an action such as uh, reassign uh, that to another user. So this was the quick uh, walk through uh, the platform and the solution uh, with the quick demo of a loan request uh, application that will be put in place in a bank, both for the bank itself, different profiles such as agents, but also advisors, and also an example of an application that could be put in place for uh, our end customers of the bank, which is people that 
make loan requests. So we hope to, that you had a chance to make an overview uh, and uh, better understand how what Bonita platform is and how it can be used to put in place uh, living applications. Maybe from here we can propose to see if there are any questions and just to remind you that uh, in the webinar tool you, you have a chat section uh, on the bottom of uh, the webinar tool so please uh, feel free to uh, type in your questions and we'll uh, try to uh, address them all as they come. There are already some so we can uh, go through them and try to answer them but also for the others a reminder that uh, you still have time to uh, uh, share your thoughts and uh, ask any questions through the through the chat. So I don't know, maybe uh, Alexandra, if you want to help me go through the questions, read them out, and we can see from there uh, which ones to take. Sure, Nico is going to help as well as soon as we have uh, the first question. Thank you, Aris. Anyway. Aris, we had a question regarding UiBath. Uh, are we going to uh, add a connector into our solution and is UiBath going to have a, a connector as well? Oh yes, uh, thanks for, uh, for the question to our participant. So yeah, I didn't uh, mention uh, when we were going through uh, a list of connectors inside of the uh, Bonita Studio, uh, we talked about uh, those that are already uh, in place for systems such as SAP. So the idea of the partnership with UiPath, and uh, uh, we are currently working uh, together with them on that, is to have a dedicated connector on the Bonita Studio side that would allow to uh, for example, submit a new message to the orchestrator queue so that orchestrator can take an action and uh, dispatch it to uh, different workers on the UiPath uh, side. And uh, from the other way around, the idea is also to have a possibility from UiPath to uh, make uh, an API call to Bonita and notify the business process that invoked certain robot that the action was done and pass on back the results to the Bonita uh, business process. So the answer is yes, there will be uh, in the next releases on both sides. So by the end of the year on the Bonita soft side, a dedicated connector to uh, more easily uh, integrate the two solutions. Thanks, Aris. We have another question. Uh, are all the features available in the Community Edition or only uh, in the Enterprise Edition? Uh, yes, so uh, we do have two different editions of the Bonita platform. The uh, Community Edition that uh, includes uh, all the parts, as we saw on the architecture slide, that are uh, the Bonita Studio and the Bonita Runtime part. Uh, then we have the uh, Enterprise Edition. It includes some more uh, advanced features in the Studio and the Runtimes. More advanced features are, for example, monitoring capacity inside of the, of the Bonita configuration uh, platform. Uh, then there are certain advanced features in terms of the more easier uh, development and uh, implementation of processes in the studio, uh, capacity to make uh, authentication, 
uh, based on the Active Directory or LDAP and so on. And then we spoke also throughout the presentation about the two add-ons, continuous development add-on and intelligent continuous improvement add-on. Uh, they are compatible with uh, the enterprise edition and not the uh, community edition. I hope that uh, answers the question. Um, yes, so maybe um, we have a question regarding the architecture slide. Uh, maybe, Aris, if you can go back to the architecture oh, yes. slide and explain it once again, sure. if you don't mind. Thank you. Yes, sure. I uh, should have uh, <laughs> I should have done it using the slide. So here I'm back. I hope that uh, you can see it again on your screens. So yeah, as we said, uh, the, uh, all these parts uh, that we saw on the architecture slide uh, are uh, available in both community and uh, enterprise uh, edition. So we will have a Bonita Studio in both community and enterprise edition. There will be a runtime that's available in both editions. And it works in the same way by using the Bonita storage, connects to the external systems and provides uh, customer facing uh, applications to be built. So the main pattern is the same. However, in the Bonita Studio uh, in Community Edition, there are less features and capacities than in the Enterprise Edition. So certain, some examples are, we were uh, during the presentation, we, we talked about uh, UI designer and when we were seeing the capacity to uh, use uh, responsive design. This is typically a capacity of the uh, enterprise edition, so it doesn't exist in uh, community edition. Uh, also, if we talk about the runtime, we we're talking about different services, and the authentication service is uh, much more rich in the enterprise edition. That it, it would provide uh, authentication based on uh, connectivity with LDAP servers such as Active Directory or a single sign-on configuration with, for example, a CAS server or using SAML.2.0 or Kerberos as a, as a protocol. So there are more advanced uh, capacities on both development and design part in the studio as well as in the uh, Bonita runtime part uh, when you use the Enterprise Edition. Thank you, Harris. Uh, maybe the last question is regarding database. Do we have connectors for um, how many database and which kind of database? And otherwise, what can we do? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so as I mentioned while we are on this slide, actually, um, also in terms of the storage, maybe I didn't mention that, um, as we said, uh, we would use uh, different databases. The engine would use them to store the data throughout the process execution. So here you actually have freedom of choosing the underlying database. Uh, Bonita uses Hibernate as persistent layer, so you can choose anything between Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, PostgreSQL, or MySQL. So it gives you quite a lot of flexibility in terms of the underlying uh, infrastructure. And uh, also you can use connectors to uh, interface with existing databases, so external existing databases, and there we have uh, quite a big uh, palette of uh, connectors, including connectors for the database engines that I just mentioned, but also uh, other ones such as uh, Teradata, uh, AS400, not to forget uh, that one that, uh, that is still very present at uh, uh, historical companies and uh, some others that you can see uh, here on the on the list of the of the connectors. And besides that, there are generic connectors, uh, JDBC connector that you can use actually to connect to any uh, database providing such an interface. And there is also a data source uh, connector that allows to connect to any database using a pool of uh, database connections. 
So I hope uh, it answered the question. I think so, Harry. So mm -hmm. it looks like. Uh, um, oh, maybe the last question. We have uh, still uh, minutes left. Um, is there any plan to have a cloud offering? Mm. Uh, yeah, so uh, what we uh, showed here uh, on the on the architecture slide and when we spoke about the runtime, I mentioned briefly that uh, it can be deployed either on-premise or in the cloud. Uh, you need an application server such as Tomcat or Wildfly, you need a database, and it can currently be deployed on both either on-premise or in the cloud. However, we do not have for the moment the dedicated cloud offering so you can either uh, choose uh, a public cloud like AWS or Azure and with the help of the BCD module provision easily Bonita instances so you can have really uh, running Bonita runtimes, uh, especially using Docker containers in really a very short time, in a minute or two. So this is uh, uh, one possibility. And uh, in the future, uh, yeah, we might have uh, also dedicated uh, cloud offering. Thank you, Aris. I think um, we don't not have any uh, additional questions. But in any case, if you have uh, additional question in the future, do not uh, hesitate uh, to write us. I think yeah, you can put the last slide with my details. Nico? Yes, um, I'd like to thank you both for a great presentation. Um, and as Alexandra said, if you have any questions or if you would like to discuss in more detail about ongoing projects or any type of future goals that you may have, um, please feel free to reach out uh, via our contact form. I've actually added the link in the chat box, which is the last um, box on your GoToWebinar dashboard. Um, it will take you to our contact form. You can just give us some initial information and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible to discuss some more details. So um, with that, I think we'd like to thank everybody for attending and we hope you have a great rest of your day. So once again, thank you, Alexandra. Thank you, Harris. And everybody, please stay tuned for the next series of Bonita webinars. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Thank you, bye.